Hello, thank you for joining this series of the Voices of Claremore. Uh, today we have with us Tom Fink, uh, who's been a longtime resident of Claremore, employee of the Claremore Progress, and now Rogers State University. So Tom, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. Uh, it's my pleasure, uh, thanks for having We're really you. looking forward to visiting with you today and just hearing a little bit more about your life and experiences here in Claremore. So why don't we just start with, tell us your name, your age, where you were born. Yes, I, I know those. Um, <laughs> well, my name is Tom Fink. Um, I was born in Tulsa. Uh, I spent the first few years of my life in Catoosa, the old Rolling Hills edition of Catoosa. My parents were Kenneth C. and Patricia Fink. And uh, I went in elementary school to Carl Sandburg Elementary, which is kind of on the Tulsa Rogers County line. My uncle Howard Fink was the first principal there and I was the first class to go from kindergarten through sixth grade. After that, I went to Catoosa for three years. I believe that was junior high and into okay. high school. And then we moved to Vianne where I finished up high school in 1984. So I've been an Indian and a Wolverine and oh, just about everything. But never a zebra. Not technically, no, <laughs> just zebra in law, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, after high school, I went to Northeastern State University in Tahlequah, where okay. I studied and majored in communications and uh, with a journalism emphasis. Got my bachelor's in that, and along the way, around October in 1986, I met my wife, Lisa, who is originally from Claremore, mm -hmm. class of 1979, and she has deep, deep roots in the city, as I later came to find out, uh, fell in love. We got married in 1988 and spent a couple of years in Texas, just outside of Houston, where I was a computer operator. And uh, then we moved back in 1990 and we've been here ever since. Very good. So now the, the move in high school, mm -hmm. uh, did you say Vianne? Yes. What, what caused your family to move there? My dad was from there originally. Oh, okay. And he had always wanted us to move back there mm -hmm. when he retired. Um, so on the weekends, when everyone else was going to football games or whatever, we would go to the farm, as I called it, mm -hmm. and moved a lot of rocks. Mm -hmm. I remember we moved a lot of rocks, uh, put a lot of fences up, and just kind of got everything ready for our eventual, for our eventual move. Uh, he had a heart attack in 1980 and had to move before he wanted to retire. And I moved in, I think, 81 between my freshman and sophomore year. And my mom came down the year after that. Okay. And so 